Okay, what's going on everybody? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is D. Ken, and welcome to my incredible podcast. Now, before we continue any further, do not forget to hope smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys and your families, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and enjoy. And for this episode, please sit down, sit back, and relax, and enjoy MGTOW slash Red Pill Compilation number four. guys in the friend zone because we don't like them they're too nice what's wrong with being nice we like toxic 50 percent of this next generation will still be single by the time they're 30 years old now that comes from a prediction from trust me bro and after watching that last video right there i'm starting to believe that it's true feel anything no here's the truth about the dating scene 90% of the women are only having sex with 25% of the men. 75% of the men have completely given up. They go home, they play video games, they watch their OnlyFans, they jerk off, and they go to sleep. They don't care about women anymore. Because society is telling women that they're all queens and that they all deserve a top-notch man. And that none of them should settle. So they have a long list of things that make a guy attractive. And only 25% of men meet that list. And then women look around and go, how come I can't find a good guy? Because you guys are rotating the same 25% of men. And you can't blame those men. Don't be surprised when you're all fighting over the same man. When we first meet you, all we care about is, are we attracted to you? That's it. Everything is secondary. Our list is so shallow that it's not. Because at least we don't make you meet a laundry list of things before we'll give you a chance. 75% of men have just completely given up. I work with them. I'm friends with them. I've known them for years. You think I want to be like this? You think I want to act like I don't care about you for the first six months we're together? No. Women are more attracted to men who have options. That's why they don't like nice guys because subcon they say they like nice guys because Hollywood puts this idea of a nice guy in their head. Because when you're nice to a woman in the back of her brain, even if she doesn't realize it, she's going, he doesn't have options. Women always have options. Women know when they're going to have sex next. When they want to. <laughs> I got Most guys don't know when they're going to have sex again. You don't talk enough about how passport bros are just predators. You're leaving America to go to another country. Can we please stop the misinformation about black men who are choosing to travel internationally? Because y'all, this narrative of y'all making it like it's the Pookies and Ray Rays that are leaving the other countries to steal their women is hilarious. Other countries don't want the American degenerate in their country. Canada won't even let you in if you have DWIs. Watch this. Look at this list. Pookie and Ray Ray are stuck here with y'all. Y'all not going to put that on a passport, bros. Long list of felonies, you're not getting a passport. Unpaid child support, you're not getting a passport. In order to be a passport, bro, it's likely you have your stuff together. And predators, bro, foreign women aren't dumb. A lot of these girls be in school and speak multiple languages. Stop acting like they butt naked with a leaf on with no internet. So please keep the narrative that we all got passports to run to Epstein's Island. Do I? And then I, I literally told him, convince me. Stop negotiating with terrorism, fellas. Get your passport. One man won't do, another man will. And let me tell you why. There are too many men on this earth for me. I totally agree with her. And I think you should use her own logic against her. She said the world. Yeah, the world, fellas. Go get your passport, man. A large percentage of these girls got to be left to their own devices. <laughs> you guys love saying the, like, Holly weird, all the pedophiles in Holly weird. But this isn't an issue with the fashion world. This isn't an issue with celebrities. This is an issue with men, goddammit! Men! No, the whole Balenciaga scandal is, like, quite literally her fault. The chief designer for Balenciaga, her name's Lara Volkova, and she's a woman, <laughs> not a man. And by the way, if you look her up, you'll see a lot of very, uh, twisted images to say the least so prepare yourself anyways i guess the bigger question here is like why are you just demonizing all men because this is quite literally not a not a man's fault is it just like all men bad is that what it is like can you not accept the fact that like women can do wrong things as well when we say it's all men truly it is all men
that have done what? Built the society that you now live in? Work in the coal factory so that you can have electricity for your house? The oil refinery mill so you can have gas for your car? Built the car? Built the streets and highways that you can drive your car on? Built the phone, internet, and app that you're now using to say this opinion? I guess you're right. It is all men. Saying two things. One, that my child is going to be bullied in school. And he will. I, I don't understand why y'all think being a hoe and living a whole lifestyle has no consequences. Like, I don't, I don't get this. Like, she's over here saying, oh, my child's going to be bullied. It, yes. Children are some of the most cruelest motherfuckers walking this planet. You really don't understand it. As a person that's been bullied before, I know this shit. I got bullied for no fucking reason. Your child has evidence against him. You are a well-known porn star. You don't think, you, you really don't think they're going to come at him about this? This man will never be able to roast anybody in his damn life. But this is why they say a lot of y'all are that delusional. Because think about it like this. Imagine if you signed up for porn, the first thing they say is, you can have all the money, clout, and fame you want, but the consequences, your child will never have a regular life. Y'all would not be able to deal with that. But hey, you chose that lifestyle. Women should not go to prison for false rape accusations. And do you want to know why? Because out of all the rapists in this world, they only have a 16% chance of actually facing charges. So I'll advocate for women going to prison when we actually catch all rapists. Why is it that when a woman says all men are trash, in the comments, everybody, especially women, is commenting, yes, queen, you're not wrong, all men are trash, they're all pieces of shit, there's no good men left out there. How about we take accountability for the people that we're choosing to date? How about that? Because there are good men out there and you guys are ruining the good men with this kind of narrative. Stop it. On top of that, how about you take some accountability that you might be problematic? Hmm? Ever think about that? Oh, for real? Well, what about that? Hmm? But it's not the same, right? Men's egos are so fragile. So when we display too much emotion, we have a fragile male ego. But if we don't display enough emotion, then we're a toxic masculine man. There's no winning with people like this. It's a lose-lose situation. Hey, I'd respect you more if you were just honest with what you really think. You don't like men. Mistakes that keep guys single. Listen here, gentlemen. You take fishing advice from the fishermen, not the fish. Oh my god, is he comparing us to fish? It's an analogy. Relax. And that concludes this episode of my incredible podcast. So thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to hoax smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this with your boys and your families. Follow me on Instagram. Smash that bell notification button. And y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.